When I don't know, I represent for Dan Sinclair on the YouTube family. And there's a certain question and again if you ask it, but I don't know. I'm not going to ask all of the questions you know, because you don't know the big ship man. Always busy, I have so many people to deal with. It, it is a thing we have to have a whole heap of tolerance. Enough artists do have them tolerance there and it can leave a bad impact. You have to know how to deal with the artists. They're not real life, no care about the interview. This is more like a one position. My father say, you are going, daddy. Them say, you are going. What was one of the first songs that I sing? What is the first song that I sing? And what, what age? The first song I sing and the first song I record. It's two different things. First song I sing is that song I write in a roll, dumpling roll. If you want to know, dumpling sweet, dip it in a coconut oil. No, no, and the first song I record now is a song named Why Did You Do It with Ernest Wilson and that song come out uh, as Fitzy and Freddie, because Ernest named Ernest Fitzroy Wilson. So Mr. Dad released our Wapa song as Fitzy and Freddie with me and Ernest. Yeah. So you, you used to sing with Ernest together without me the Clarendon? Ernest Wilson without Peter Astin. Without the Clarendon, yeah. yeah. so that is a separate genre. I said separate. And to own going at that one, so people don't need to do the research. Well, them they're on YouTube too, you know. Otherwise Most of them think they're on YouTube. And, and, so and, and some research. of them they're on YouTube as Little Freddie. So it, and them they're there. Alright, and there's an excellent one himself, you ask, you know, name one of your favorite artists. My favorite artist? Yeah. My favorite reggae artist is still Dennis Brown. And my favorite foreign artist is still Stevie Wonder. And your favorite album? Jeez, um, that one they're rough. <laughs> it's not tough. Alright, well, I'm going to be honest with you and tell you my favorite. Uh, not my like personal tree, album, tree. not my personal album. No, not album. your album. We will listen to otherwise. She's um, difficult to say one, you know. All right, three, all right. Yeah. Um, the first one is an album named Bob and the Songbook. In my estimation, one of the baddest albums come out of Jamaica. Seconded by a man named Joe Higgs. My album with a song named There's a Reward for Me. Who is on that album? Um, Joe Higgs. Joe Higgs is yeah, one of the masterpieces. Him and one of the man will, will teach Bob them too. Yeah. And Bonnie them will tell you that. And um, my next bad album would be D Brown No Man is an Island. Can't leave D Brown out of the mix. But I may have, have done for the album I'm a truly love. But I think Bob and the Songbook stands out as one of Jamaica's all time greatest and album. Bob and and John Walt have an album named 1000 volt of volts, yeah. you can't yeah. go around yeah. it neither. Yeah. So, you know, when um, I go about five, and them know that I'm a top five, and I'm with gang. Don't know. All right, I'm gonna keep it on this five now. Otherwise, from the music, when you're not doing music, what are some of the other things you enjoy doing? <laughs> Otherwise, I'm doing I love music. fishing, man. You know, when I'm Florida, I'm always a tackle box in my car. You know, we'll see water, we'll fish. And mostly on weekends, we'll go Key West. I'll catch fish. Love fishing, man. Go out on Friday night and we'll come back Sunday. Catch our 200 pound of fish. So, all right. Man. And other, other than that, to fishing, horses. Yeah, man, because we love horses, you know. Man. We have a farm where we breed horses and race them and sell them. And we plant vegetables, callalo, okra, papaya, and all of that. So, to me, can see it going to a different level in the yeah, farming, man. and it's very important for the youth <laughs> them nowadays. For, you know, say Uncle Freddie is not just singing music. Me see a deal a lot of farming. Yeah, me have a farm and food farm come and first. And you know. Know. Thing, our intention is for help feed feed our own island. You know what I say? Until we have enough where we can export. Yeah, so right now, my whole sweet potato are coming up. So my my little so. sweet potato might not be the most potato in Jamaica, but it will help suffice a portion of our community, you know. And if everybody could have yeah. put a hand together, you don't so know. if we have plenty of us to do that, then we can cover enough for Jamaica. Yeah, we can cover enough ground. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll keep it good back on another musical question. What was one of your most memorable, memorable performance or memorable place that you've been to in the music? I do those are many also, to be honest. But I think the most memorable performance for me personally yeah. is Reggae in Symphony at London Apollo Theatre with John Walt and myself. Which year was that? If you can remember? I can't remember the year. It was with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. Okay. And I think that remains one of the modest concerts I personally Until have ever this done. Day. Yes. Right then, no.
from a if you do have a bad performance, what do you do to bring back yourself from a bad performance? Have you ever have a bad performance? Yet? I think every one of us as artists do. And every night you really go out there and match up the place and every night you really go out there and feel like you're up to it. Sometimes you have flu, sometimes you worse. Different reasons. You know, so every everyone have a bad night. But for the most part we always just give off our best still. And people usually understand that and Jalwe is our way for make it work. And YouTube and dancing clear this this out of you and interview can continue for the whole time, but I'm still gonna ask you another two questions. Oh, what's your feeling on how the music is going now? What's your take on that side? Right? How the music is going now, the general that is going in now? I don't know. Um, enough people have mixed feelings about the music and how it goes. As I myself go forward, cause you know, one thing with me, me stick to my thing. When I really stray, um, I sing lovers' song to people, I sing cultural song. That's what I mean. Yeah. When I sing lewd lyrics, I'm gonna go there, so. so now you can't call my thing old school, cause I'm a big man. Um, the youth, them thing now, one thing me try to remember of myself is that when, when, when we were youths, we used to have a similar situation, but we never, we never keep it unruly. We kept it in check. Um, musical, I try to relate to what I'm doing. I try to put myself in them place, and. Some of it my love, and some of it my can't stand. Straight up. Um, the ones were nice in terms of dance hall, they really nice for me personally. The one that was disgusting, but everyone want to hear it. I may have the ones that when me love and me dance to and me hear them and thing. Um, and sometimes, you know, we try to set the example for the youth them follow. But you have a thing named generation. Whoa, I think we lose a generation, real time. Um, my wish is that the generation would have really pattern what myself and many of us have done and to use that as an example to continue to grow because we find ourselves in a situation where a lot of non-jamaicans love our music and start to take our music seriously and start to record our music and it become a problem to a lot of people as for me i don't see a problem with it because when we go away it's pure reggae player in Hawaii, both Hawaiian reggae and Jamaican reggae. Um, and the thing is, if people don't love your music, them no want to try to play it. Them no want nothing to do with it if they don't really love it. <coughs> so the fact that people love reggae and they try to play reggae or is playing reggae is a great thing. You know, so more people are doing it. So in another nutshell now, so we're going to tell some of the young artists them nowadays what come in, which route, what your advice to some of them now? If you love the music and you're talented, because there are two situations that too, you know. If you love the music and if you're talented, then you need to just put your all in there. Because you want no. If if you love it and you want want it as a profession, you can't stop once you get it back. Because with music you can't do two things. You can't do half music and half something else. It has to be music all the way. If not, don't even take it on. And if you have plan for the music, try to use the music to the best of your ability. Use it for the good, because you can use it for the good and you can use it for the bad. Um, for some people, it happens easily. And for some people, it takes a long time. And sometimes, even in my case, it just works out so when you get frustrated, I feel like it's not going to work, I'm ready to give up. It's when it really happens. So, there's no quitting. Yeah, because it's not a thing say you have a bag of money put on the you have to just keep working. You have to keep going until it happens. If, you, if, you, love it, if you love it, you have to put in the work. You have to write the best lyrics you can write. Try to find the best rhythm tracks to work with. Um, try to do the best show, the best interviews, the best everything you do. And try until it happens. Well, you know, Uncle Freddie had me say, England is your place. I mean, no, you've always been in England. Always. The people them just always accept it in England, so all over the world, but I know mean, this is a place where you know say, for them say hungry for the people. England are my place, place man. From I mean, them live in England, too, so one more for say, my place. Well, you say, I'm, 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 I'm fall in love with the English people from many years ago, and the England people fall in love with me for many, many years. So, so we have that relationship on our report. Enough time when I write my song, them certain songs, I reflect back on England, to be honest. 
like, I can't close my and remember all the people, man. A, a groove to a, a, a particular song or a particular groove. I can't say, yeah, England have a love that thing, you know, because so England people groove. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it happens. Um, South America, I can't think about a song when I do. I was song from my last album near Rasta for party. And the whole vibe was an experience where we had in Colombia recently. We went to a party and just a vibe. And you know, Colombian people love dance. And, and I said, yeah, the song had a really fit Colombia. So, you know, but England have a special place in my heart, music wise, because not only England people love reggae. But they understand it. I always say that, and I, I think it's true. And I could tell us, I could go on and on and on. I'm never going to go on no more. But here we never say no. All the artists, them, on the Respect Uncle Freddy, and I'm talking past stage show, and even with dub it, there's a principle I love on of share with the people them because sometimes the artists carry an attitude with the people them love the artists them Uncle Freddy, but when they meet them, it changes the whole persona. Yeah. May I tell that for your life them because them depend on one thing. Some of them just when them singing, them sing like them sing money before. It's not a question. Me I said to you now, not me just a talk of my one people know what I'm saying. When them singing, it's like them sing one, put the money before the people them, and it's not gonna work all the while. So, Uncle Freddy, I want us bless up Dan Sinclair and unroll the crew and give them a little line and bless up the nation. Uh, Dan Sinclair and the unroll the crew. Just unruly keep the crew. thing going, see? You don't know Freddie McGregor. We endorse this one big time. So massive, check it out. Dan Sinclair, the unroll the crew. Aye. Except me not unruly. Why well, give them one little line? Let's give them, oh, give them a little spice. We sing too much. Alright, we're going to have a nice tune. We're going to take a break from singing. <laughs>